My name is Dragan and I am working for Sanox. In Sanox I am uh, responsible for big data and there I am a uh, senior Hadoop architect. Uh, big data for me is uh, something that you cannot process on a single machine. That means it's not necessarily a huge amount of data that you cannot store on a single machine, but if you are not able to process that in a given time frame, then it's a big data for me. Uh, my speech was about uh, what we are doing uh, at Sanox uh, with Hadoop and uh, generally we are doing uh, reporting stuff that we are using Hadoop to process the data and then uh, we are using Lucene Cloud uh, in order to deliver the processed data to users in real time. Uh, consumers are uh, uh, either publishers uh, or advertisers and that means uh, those are the users that are uh, um, either generating the, the, the sales, leads, clicks, uh, views and um, Sanox is responsible to provide aggregated information to them that they can exactly see uh, how they are performing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's uh, exactly one project uh, that uh, illustrates why Hadoop is very important for us. Um, in general, we are uh, struggling before we start to use Hadoop to provide some uh, additional value to our customers, such as grouping all related clicks uh, with a sale. And um, by using Hadoop, it was not a problem to... to process um, billions of, of, of clicks and to provide information that our customers can see and that was the click that was the last click before sale but also in the same chain I had the following five or six clicks that were contributing and with that information they are able to optimize uh, their campaigns uh, not only to the last winning clicks but also to the clicks that are uh, in the chain and that are also contributing that were invisible without Hadoop. Well, I know that in my company uh, we, we tried um, uh, really a lot of uh, uh, different stuff with Hadoop and because you cannot uh, do, do everything at the same time um, we are uh, trying right now, for example, to find uh, small startups that are going to use um, uh, Hadoop and machine learning for uh, improving our product offers, for example. Because product offers are something that our customers are sending us and, and those offers are in multiple formats, they are not structured or semi-structured at best and you have to apply uh, sophisticated machine learning uh, techniques to, to consolidate those offers. And we are in Sanox, we, we did some experiments with Mahout, for example, but we are realizing that that's a hard job to do and we are searching for startups, uh, actually. That means we are, we are right now in a process of finding a startup that is willing to, to help us. Uh, concerning uh, other NoSQL uh, solutions at Sanox, we have experience with HBase because HBase was, was uh, uh, in Hadoop ecosystem and uh, because we have um, more than four years experience with Hadoop. Uh, I remember that we tried HBase four years ago, that was a time where HBase was uh, simply a trial and not something that was uh, very useful. Um, and right now we are quite successfully using HBase with Cloudera distribution. Uh, additionally, we have also uh, uh, Cassandra, um, because in the beginning we, we are afraid that HBase is performant enough, performant enough for us, and we have also Cassandra, small Cassandra cluster. That means we really believe in NoSQL technologies. Well, I'm sure that we are prepared because we invest in, in, in Hadoop and in NoSQL on time. And we started in 2008 uh, to, to uh, use Hadoop. Uh, we, we started productively to use Hadoop at the end of 2008. 
uh, and um, we are not afraid uh, to the data that are coming to us. We see exponential growth in the data and the amount of data, but we see that our infrastructure is scaling simply by putting more machines and currently we have no problem in handling up to half of a terabyte of data daily. That means uh, I see a, a, a happy future for Xanox. I think that Berlin Buzzwords is a great conference. Um, first time when I saw um, it was uh, too late for me because uh, I, was, uh, I had a planned holiday and I said to myself next time I'm going to give a, a talk on that conference and I see how the conference is growing and uh, how conference is attracting a lot of uh, talented speakers and I think that next year we are going definitely to have more than a thousand participants. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.